Hey Aquarius, this is Sonny, and this is your weekly for the week of August 10th, 2015. So if you would like a reading from me, the link is always in the description box below. And after each video, I always have a picture stating where my website is. So keep in mind that these are uh, general readings and I may not get to your situation in this particular video. So if you want to check me out, my web like I said, my website is below. And um, you can order a reading from me. One question is $18, which is really, really cheap compared to what everyone else is doing. I'm still doing the two extended videos for the two Zodiac signs who receives the most liked and viewed video. So the Zodiac sign that receives the most liked video, I'm going to talk about your career, your love life, and or your finances. And for the Zodiac sign who receives the most viewed video, I'm going to give a detailed weekly upon that week. Yes. And I upload those videos every Friday or Saturday. But um, the visions that I had for you guys um, was America, like USA. And the vibe that I got from it was freedom. So a lot of you, like you may be looking more into your foundation or the place where you call home. Um, or your, your, past is your past issues, like whatever the case may be, you may look back on it. And you may want freedom. Okay? But um, I also saw a pig, like a little piggy bank. So a lot of you really get time for you to save your money. Some of you, like you may go into your savings to get out money. Some of you, like you may um, uh, go through the process of getting a loan. Whatever the case may be, I do see that, you know, a lot of you, like you just may, um, you know, do whatever it takes to gain more money or to like, take out of your savings like I know that's a sucky feeling but you know you just really you gotta do what you gotta do um your finances honestly I feel like they will get better um within two weeks which is like the end well like the week of the 16th yes well towards mid-august um you know I do feel like finances will get better I am gonna say like this is a uh, emotional week for a lot of you because I'm picking up on a lot of cup cards and the cup cards are increasing so a lot of you like you may feel emotionally stable some of you will or you may feel like stably uh, emotionally fulfilled um, I do feel like, yeah, you guys will get a little bit better because you're starting to see the things that you really need to see towards yourself. A lot of you are really focusing on yourself for this week and or you need to, all right? So I am picking up on friendships. A lot of you, you're just losing interest within friendships. You are just like, uh, you don't seem real to me or you're kind of giving me the runaround about something and you're just over it. I feel like a lot of you, like you're really over a lot of partnerships. So some of you, like you may be over relationships or maybe partnerships that you have at work. Um, a lot of you, you still want to quit your job. You are just over a lot. And I'm really, really happy that you guys are seeing people for what they really, really are. And I'm also picking up that if you are tied into a love triangle and you know about it, like you may just be losing interest within that. And however, some of you, like if you are unaware that you are in a love triangle, you may find that out this week. So just be open to anything that may happen. I do feel like a lot of you, like you are going to do some praying this week or you may do some emotional healing. If you can, please do some meditation. I do feel like meditation would be good for you. Um... I'm also picking up that a lot of you, like you are going to be active and you are going to be outside. You're going to be really, really busy this week. So that's really nice. Um, I'm also picking up that a lot of you, like you're taking, a, you're taking a closer look at yourself. And this is tying into the August monthly that I did for you guys. Um, you're taking a closer look at yourself and you want to transform yourself. You want to become a better person. You want to learn from your experiences and you want to grow mentally and physically. So that's really, really good. A lot of you, like you may go through a period of you forgiving yourself and forgiving others for things that has happened. I am picking up a lot of you. You may be in a situation where you feel as if you're being judged. And that may kind of rub you the wrong way. It may. And that may take you to a place of, uh, oh my God, what's the word I'm looking for? Where you feel vulnerable. And I talked about that word in your monthly because I said a lot of you, like you need to feel vulnerable to understand that you can move forward all right so a lot of you like you may feel vulnerable for this week a lot of you you may do some traveling this week that's going to a lot you may go back to um your past um childhood home 
um, childhood landmarks I feel like a lot of you are going to go back to and this will help you transform yourself but if you feel as if you're being judged then don't take it to the heart just learn from it and understand that you need to move on from that situation stand your ground though but just don't be all right, all right, don't be like that all right just be careful i am picking yeah i am picking up that a lot of you like you you really may go through um past experiences and maybe past lovers and maybe past friends and some of you like you may just be blinded by illusions you may not really want to experience these past issues wish these uh past situations i want to say intuitions so a lot of you like you may have deja vus you may you may have a lot of deja vus but honestly i really do feel like it's time for you guys to move forward you need you honestly need to experience your past again or maybe think about your past in order to move forward so be mindful of past situations coming back within your life all right once again i am picking up that it's going to be a really good time for you guys to um add sunshine and, and rearrange your home um please don't be blinded by past lovers don't be in that illusion that oh my god they want me back they're going to be good they're going to be faithful to me no they're not this is a test this is honestly a test so please pass it understand why you and this individual why you and this individual did not work and move on all right i really do feel like you need to move on some of you you may think about past lovers and they may come back to you just by you thinking about them mentally you're very powerful so be mindful of the other things that you wish for. If you're like, oh my God, I just, I want to quit my job. You, you may get fired. You are, you may quit your job and you may be like, oh fuck. Let me tap into my savings account because I know that I'm not going to have enough money in the long run. So be mindful of what you wish for because like I said, your mental mindset is going to be very powerful. And your angels are going to be like, okay, that's what you want. I'm going to give it to you. So please be careful about that. I'm also picking up that some of you, um, be mindful about your children. I am picking up a lot of emphasis on kids. Um, don't, be mindful of what your children are doing because I feel like your children may be a little uh, mischievous and they may try to do things under your nose. All right, however, some of you, like, you are willing to help out your kids or you may need help from your kids if your children are grown. All right, so I really do feel like a lot of teamwork, picking up sticks involving your kids all right so that's really really interesting but the message of this week for you guys listen to your spirituality well listen to your intuition and trust your um want to learn more about your spirituality i do feel like a lot of you you really are going to do some traveling out with the old and with the new because i keep looking at the water when i see water or when I think about water, it's just like, like recycling, like purifying, cleansing. So a lot of you, you really do need that cleansing. Like I said, this is a really um, mental and spiritual week for you. So be mindful of the things that you wish for and pay attention to your dreams and your deja vus, all right? A lot of you, like you may be tied into a water sign person. Uh, water signs are Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. I feel like you and this water sign person, you need to be on the same page. This water sign person may be a little cold towards you. They may. They honestly may. Um, but honestly, what I'm picking up most is that you need to pay attention to your intuition. And be careful of casual dating, if you are casually dating. Be careful of like, people trying to be players. I am picking up on like a lot of player energy. Maybe, maybe, uh, and maybe from you or maybe from people around you. I didn't say this, but I for, uh, let me talk about it now. If you are tied into another air sign, air signs are another Aquarius, Gemini's, and Libra, there may be some sort of endings with this uh, air sign person. Or maybe forgiving them and just moving on. Refresh. A lot of you, like you are, this is a good week to like out with the old and with the new refresh. It really, really is. So please do that and try to have a good week this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye.